Hello everyone, welcome back to the garden. It's September 20th, 2020, and we are going to harvest our sweet potatoes today. We've had some hard frost the last few days and some hard freezes, so these are pretty much uh, about as big as they're going to be under there. You can kind of see some of the leaves are doing really well, but a lot of them are kind of beat up. Um, these took a lot of Japanese beetle damage this summer too, so that's kind of uh, what's going on there. But be interesting to see how, how these did. So where we are in New York State, you don't see a lot of homegrown sweet potatoes, but you can grow them and get some pretty good yield. Usually we get a, a decent amount of them, so it'll be fun to see. So we're gonna harvest these. What you basically do is just sort of dig around in there, reach around with your hand. We'll pull these all out, but just as a sort of preview, it feels like a big one in there. Oh, look at that. So we're just gonna pull these out and then we'll see what we got. So that's our finished harvest. Not not crazy, but also not bad. We got some pretty good sized ones in there. It's probably about maybe five or six pounds. Uh, that was a hundred gallon container though. So we have done better, but we had a very, very cold spring here this year. And we've been getting some really uh, cold nights. And so sometimes, sometimes summer lasts a little bit more into the fall than it has this year. And sometimes it starts earlier. So sweet potatoes are a heat loving crop but look at that thing I mean that's like a good pound right there in and of itself so all in all you know we're happy with it they're a fun crop to grow and being in New York State like I said you don't see a lot of homegrown sweet potatoes in our area but it's a it's a fun crop to experiment with so thank you for joining us and we'll see you again soon